Nathan Gary. Yeah, sure, we're great. We're live anyway. <laughs> and uh, where are both of you based today? We're in Craigmore. It's just outside Clare Galway in what are we, 15 miles from Galway City, I suppose. So what sort of gear do you run? We run all, well, tractors wise, it's all John Deere. Harvesters, John Deere. Um, but the truck side of things then, they're Volvos, mainly Volvos. Um, diggers, mainly Hitachis with a Cabelco, a couple of Komatsus as well, but um, mainly stick to the Hitachi in the, in the track machine side of things. But yeah, try and stay as much as we can to the same brands, at least that way you have a bit of backup, like you know, and you know, you kind of know what you're dealing with, you know. And how was the season for you? This year was great, in fairness, like the weather, played ball for every different job like we got grass was unbelievable except for maybe the first week of june or the last few days of may or that there was a bit of rain that time but after that sure we got great weather everyone got a chance to get everything done you know how did the 97 run for you this year ran very well this year no geez it, like um in fairness it did we're very happy with it, it is look at if you can keep the grass road up in front of it it'll get through it like you know the Savage machine to take it, lumpy swarts, um, heavier light doesn't really make much of a difference. Like you know, there we like it. Look, we had a few minor issues with it last year. To be fair, um, the buys in TFM stood over. I think anyway, they're the Rolls Royce machine to drive. They're very comfortable. Um, it's a mighty machine to take in a lumpy swart or anything like that. The heavy grass when you go out from the 5th of June onwards, no matter the year, it, it, the grass gets awful heavy and this, to be fair, it took it at its ease, like, you know, we had to cut down maybe the row size, we had to, we were using the merger there, we were on 60 feet at the start of the year, but the beauty of that machine, we could cut it back down to 45s then, or that as the grass got heavier, and that's what we did, and it flew away, and no, we're very happy with it, like. And I see this year you've got into tillage. Yeah, we, well, Last year was the first year at it and we had a bit more this year and hopefully a bit more next year we're kind of uh, talking to farmers there about bits of land and that sort of stuff there and how to expand. Look at the, the way these machinery has gone so dear you have to keep it going as best you can throughout the year and just to kind of in, in springtime along with the receding and that we're at we can be sowing the corn and you know, it just keeps everyone, keeps men going, keeps machinery going, spreads out the, the repayments, I suppose, really, like, you know. And would you have picked many acres now this year for silage? Yeah, well, they would look, this was the best year we ever had, to be fair. Um, we picked, uh, not made up fully yet now, but we picked over 3,400 acres anyway, like, um, look, at we were lucky in the last couple of years, there's a few different contractors in Galway have got out and always along with everyone else, every contractor gained work and we were one of them as well and look, it, it, it kind of made a great job of everything, you know. And if you were to look at any other tractors now, would you have any preference? Jesus, uh, I don't know, um, there's a, a man comes there with his park, um, he draws silage, he brings his own Massey and he had a new Massey now this year. Um, and the one he had before that, I think, was a 16 and never gave any trouble. And the new Massey this year again now seems to be very good. I'd say if I was to look away, I would strongly consider a Massey. I don't know, having said that, I don't know, would we move? But we do threaten to move every time we go trading a tractor and everything. You always threaten them that you're going away. But, like, we get on very well with the Bison TV, I suppose. We get on very well with the tractor as well. They're easy to drive and... Look at their, they seem to be fierce, reliable. We have them there now, the first of the R's and M's and that with, with fairly biggish hours and up on, up on them. And to be fair, they, they've given little or no trouble so far, and I like, you know. How was your experience with the merger since you've kind of got it? Um, look, at the experience has been good and bad, mainly good, to be fair. It's a, it's a, a brilliant machine. We'd have stony enough land where we are here and the problem with the rake, it was kind of flicking in the stones into the row. And with the merger, it was lifting the grass and moving it over. There was less contamination 
of soil and all that and little or no stone damage on the knives of the harvester that but having said all that um it's probably not the finished product for this part of the world the terrain ground conditions are just that bit hard on it um we're probably going to go back to a rake i'd say next year but that's to be fair that's with a, a heavy heart in a way like i would love to be able to stay with the merger but it's just not the finished product for this part of the world but if it was beefed up in certain play areas a small bit i would go back to one again in the morning like you know there as i said earlier you can adjust the size of your swart with the one machine like if you were badly stuck you could row for the baler even though the swart is slightly too big for it but if you were badly stuck you could do it for the baler real light grass in the start of the year or second cuts third cuts you could put them into ending up to a 60 foot swart for the harvester which like it sped up the job mighty like you know but um it was just not a hundred percent ready to come into the west of ireland yet like how long would you be in business now contracting wise we started in 2010 um that was the first year out i think 275 acres we picked the first year so we came a bit on since them days anyway but um yeah we're in it since 2010 at the pit silage um we were doing bits of receding and that as well bits of slurry but um the baling then i think it was 2011 the baling started and we got into a bit of digger work as well then and things just built from there then really like we got a few bits more work and people wanted other jobs done and we branched out into all them as well this year now we have um started into self-drive plant hire we bought a few mini diggers and we're kind of in doing a deal there at the minute to buy a few dumpers and rollers and stuff like that so look at it's always expanding there's always you can never stand still in business you have to stay going and and try and keep every i suppose keep money coming in at all different times of the year you know so we were with you the day the new Komatsu arrived have you driven it much yourself no very little myself now um um it's usually kieran that drives it nearly full time at, at the pit silage or keith um look at they seem to love it i drove myself a few days in a quarry there we kind of hire it in any time they're stuck or the room one breaks down or anything like that or loading a bit of dung or that but uh don't do any of the putting up at the pit silage myself but the boys like it look at it it's a big step up even though it's the same machine just the newer model to what we had before that it seems to be an awful lot livelier um climbing the piston with the hydraulics and all that and just more powerful as well like and to be fair it never it didn't put a foot wrong all year since we bought it but having said that the older one never did either it just it came to kind of time to trade it in and we traded it they were since we started using Komatsu as I think it was 2014 we've never got any major breakdowns with them maybe a few minor bits and pieces now but never got anything major with them either to be fair like you know